What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. So today, we're going to be looking at six game-changing tricks that you can use to get a leg up on the competition in Season 4. I'm going to be showing you guys a technique that you can use to save your skin in box fights, a couple of new ways that you can fish, and also tricks that you can use for free kills. Yes, I just said free kills, man. <laughs> I know I'm a fan of those. So make sure to stick around so you can be one of the first to know all of these tricks, all right? But if you watch our videos, all right, you know we always talk about VOD reviews and how crucial they are to improving. Look, let me tell you this. Like, if you don't have the time for all of that, our pro guys coaches can analyze your gameplay and tell you what you're doing wrong. It's the perfect way to save time and improve. So check out our VOD review service in the description below. Oh, and uh, one last thing. If you enjoy high quality tips and tricks, all right, do me a favor by liking the video and subbing, all right? It helps us a lot. So for today's question, let me know in the comments how many arena points you currently have and what your goal is for season four. All right, bunch of crunch army. It's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. So the first trick that you need to know is the crash pad and boogie bomb combo. While this isn't entirely doable in solos, it is very viable in duos, trios, and even squads. So how the trick works is that one player has a boogie bomb and another has a crash pad. You find an opponent turtling in a box nearby, then mark and time your throws so that the crash pad breaks their box and your boogie bomb slips right through. It really takes no time at all to set up. And when done correctly, no one really sees this coming. It happens so fast that your opponents won't even have time to react. And the result is a free boogie bomb hit, which we all know by now can lead to effortless kills. And while the timing isn't the most challenging thing in the world, the crash pad needs to land before your boogie bomb or else the entire thing ends up being for nothing. So make sure you count down your throws with your teammate so, you know, both of you guys are on the same page. So the vault area at Doom's Domain is unique in the sense that it actually has a lot of sneaky spots you can hide in. And since players are always rotating to the vault to open it or check for leftover loot, you can usually camp in one of these spots and nab yourself a free kill. One of the spots is in the top left of the underground bunker. Go inside and go up the stairs on the left by the three computer screens, all right? And here, I mean like right here, you're going to place a ramp to climb up to crouch into the ceiling. Break this concrete edge blocking your path and you should be able to crouch and walk into this hiding spot. Once up here, break your ramp so as as to not give away your spot, obviously. Then break the other concrete edge so you have a clear shot on anyone approaching the vault. Another spot that you can hide in is located inside the vault itself. First, go inside and grab whatever loot you want. Then stand in the middle, build a ramp that faces the left side of the vault, climb up, and build a floor piece so you could just walk up into it, all right? Destroy your ramp here, and you should have a pretty well-concealed hiding spot to catch players that come into the vault. All right, the last sneaky spot, and arguably the best one of them all, is right by the vault entrance. So, you know how everyone blocks off the vault with about six walls after opening it? That's where we're going to be hiding. So, start by opening the vault and placing those walls, then loot the vault, head back outside, and ramp to either the top right or top left wall. Edit that wall open and place a floor piece to walk on. Again, destroy your ramp and then reset your wall. As long as you build with metal, no one can really spot you and you can get free tags on anybody running in. The beauty is that no one can build by the vault entrance, so until your opponent moves deeper inside the vault, they've got zero chance defending themselves. All right, shout out to Flash2K on Reddit for sharing this hiding spot. So in our recent loadout video, which you should check out if you haven't already, we talked about how Silver Surfer's board is an item meant for rotations, and that's certainly true. It's one of the best solo rotation items in the game. However, since the board breaks at least one build in front of you, it has a couple of other ways that you can use it. The biggest one is an emergency escape. All right, let's say that you're in a box fight against somebody, right? And they have control over every piece around you. Instead of just sticking around and playing out the unfavorable scenario, you can pull out your mythic surfboard, use it to crash out of the box and reset the fight. 
At the same time, you could also use that mechanic offensively. Simply walking up to any wall and using the surfboard will break you through the wall and into your opponent's box. But warning, <laughs> there is a slight delay before you can land. So there is a risk of just, you know, doing this since you might get one pump during that time. <laughs> However, what we noticed, it's more likely that you'll end up in back of your opponent's box and they'll have no clue you even enter. So even with that risk, this strategy can still work. Just like pro guys can work to help you become a better player, man. Our site has live classes, coaching from the best, and courses by some of the world's best pros. All right, check us out in the description if you haven't already. So, in the past, fishing with explosives wouldn't give you the good kinds of fish, but it does now in season four. So, we're seeing players going out fishing with boats and even Dr. Doom's mythic gauntlets. But it's not only that, players have also figured out that you can actually fish using crash pads. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But for some reason or another, it actually works. You toss the crash pad at a fishing spot, and just like that, it's gonna pop out some fish and some weapons. Of course, crash pads are actually very beneficial to carry for other reasons as well. So you have to really consider whether or not you want to use one just for some fish. I only consider this one like if you're either loaded with more crash pads than you know what to do with or you're just down to one and you just want to just swap it for either a couple of floppers or maybe a spicy fish. In the end though man like it's just a judgment call you're gonna have to make depending on how your game is going. So, oddly enough, crash pads aren't the only item that works on fishing spots. We were messing around the other day and we discovered that fireflies surprisingly do the job as well. If you toss a firefly directly at a fishing spot, nothing happens. It just hits the water and floats. But if you build at least one wall right on top of this fishing spot, then throw your firefly jar at the wall to ignite it, you're gonna get the loot. And that's it, really. Like, overall, this is actually a pretty cool discovery. There haven't been many practical uses for fireflies so far, but now they're a lot more useful, even if only temporarily carried to get some fish. And since you can consistently find fireflies all across the map, knowing this technique can save you time on your fishing route, or even act as a way to get floppers when you're in shambles. All right, guys, lastly, with bouncers now back in the game, you're gonna need to know some bouncer rotations. These have you combo your bouncer with another rotation item to cover double the distance and a shorter amount of time, which can be a game changer when it comes to in-game situations. So the first thing that we can combo with bouncers is the shockwave grenade. All right, a few setups help us do this, but I find the simplest way is to start inside of a box. From here, and I mean like right here, you're gonna place a bouncer on the floor and stand so that your back is facing the direction you wanna go. Then place the bouncer and throw a shockwave slightly ahead of yourself. You don't have to be exact, but either way, make sure to turn around and adjust your speed by holding in the direction you wanna go. This can take you to about 100 meters. Perfect for rotating in the fifth and sixth zones. Now, why we like that setup in particular is because it's effortless to do in trios as well, man. Like, just make sure you're standing next to whoever is throwing the shockwave all with your backs facing the same direction, and you shall all end up near each other once you land. But another item can combo with bouncers is the crash pad. The setup for this one is best done on a ramp. Just like before, you're placing your bat so that it's facing the direction that you want to do. Then you put down your bouncer onto the ramp and toss your crash pad at your feet. If you aim the crash pad too high, you won't go more vertical than horizontal, so make sure you're aiming it low. Anyways, this one gets you about 60 meters away. So not the entire zone, but still a decent amount. And yes, you could do this one with your teammates as well. Also guys, just to note, you can get the bouncer effect by eating one of those new fish, the hot floppers. You can carry up to three of those guys, man. So if you have one, you can always pop it before shock waving or using a crash pad to double your distance like you would with bouncers. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy that's it for the tricks in this video if you found them helpful don't forget to hit that like button and again make sure you're subbed with that bell button on man so you don't miss another video like this all right and one last reminder that pro guides website has hundreds of more tricks just like the ones in this video so if you feel like improving really quickly you got to check us out 
also connect with me. I would love to hear from you guys at my Insta on your motivation guy. All right, bunch of crunch army. Keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.